Intermittent fasting is a really great tool to help you achieve a weight loss goal. I've used it for well over five years. Many of the people following my intermittent fasting programs have seen a ton of great success as well. But whether you're new or you've been using intermittent fasting for a while, there are five little micro habits that you can start adding today to really start to ramp up your results. Let's dive straight into those five micro habits. But if you're new here, my name's Autumn. I'm a certified clinical nutritionist with my master's nutrition human performance. On my channel, I teach you the science back tips and strategies to help you achieve your weight loss and wellness goals. So if you're new here, make sure you subscribe. And today's video is also sponsored by Element. More on them in a bit. Now these micro habits are all about creating a new routine because that's the biggest thing that's changing with intermittent fasting. You're changing the routine of how you would normally eat in a day. You're not necessarily eating less, you're eating less often, which means when you're eating will shift. This was personally one of the hardest things for me because I had such a routine down of when I would work out, when I would eat, the ritual of making my morning smoothie. So actively creating a new routine with intermittent fasting can go miles with seeing success with intermittent fasting. So that first micro habit to kind of reset your routine and see major success with intermittent fasting is setting an alarm for your breakfast and your lunch. You can do something like setting a reoccurring alarm on the calendar section of your phone. This is actually a tip I give to a lot of my clients who are just starting intermittent fasting to actually set a reoccurring, almost like a meeting so that your phone will alert you when it is that it's time for you to eat your breakfast and when it is for you to eat your lunch. So if you're a beginner, having that first alarm to let you know when it's time to break your fast is really useful. But if you're not a beginner, actually that second alarm or the second reoccurring reminder telling you when to eat your lunch lunch is even more important. I've just seen this with a lot of intermediate level intermittent fasters where their hunger level just starts to go down, which does naturally occur with intermittent fasting, and they start to forget to eat their middle meal or their lunch. This can be a problem. It can result in too little protein intake and muscle loss and slower metabolism. So it is important to make sure you are getting that middle meal in if you've split your meals that way. And just even setting that reminder for when your lunch is can be really useful. Okay, the second micro habit is to keep a water glass out. I mean like literally where you can visually see it all the time. When you intermittent fast, you lose a lot of water and sodium during the fasting period, which means you can get dehydrated quite easily, which is why having both water and electrolytes is so important. But especially during your fast, when you are losing the most amount of water, especially if you are working out during the fast. So a good little micro habit to do is just always keep your water glass out. Or if you have a water bottle, keeping that out as well or having both. This one I actually has noticed is a little too short for me. <laughs> I used to use those big mason jars, but then recently as a wedding gift, we got these glasses and I thought they were really cute and they are really cute, but I have noticed I'm not drinking as much water. So I need to go back to my mason jars, but having it out is a great reminder to be like, okay, I need to drink some water and to help replace the water that was lost during your fast. What I even do is especially the night before I'll fill up a glass of water and I'll leave it out on my countertop in my kitchen where I know I'll see it as I'm walking out to go to the gym. That way I can make sure to have some water before I go to work out. I just have to grab it. I don't even have to fill it up in the morning, which I know sounds extremely lazy, but when it's like 5 30 in the morning, those little things add up. <laughs> But in addition to water, replacing the electrolytes is just as important because with that lower insulin level while fasting, you do lose a lot of sodium as well as water, which can lead to things like headaches or low energy levels, which is where today's sponsor Element can be really useful. Element is an electrolyte supplement that was created with fasting in mind. It actually has the sodium, the magnesium, and the potassium to help your body replace those lost electrolytes. And what I particularly love about them is that they also have an unflavored option. In addition to all their fantastic flavored options too, I like to use the unflavored option during my fast. I'll usually have this one after I work out, especially if it's been a particularly sweaty workout, but I also use their flavored options during my eating window. So I really like their lemon habanero, their mango chili, but they also have traditional flavors like lime and orange and the raspberry salt is also really great. And it's really easy to use. You literally just tear open the package, dump it in your water, you give it a shake and it's ready to go. Right now, Element is offering my viewers a free sample pack with any order. That's eight single serving packets free with any Element order. It's a great way to try all eight flavors of Element and you can get yours at drinkelement.com forward slash autumn. This deal is only available through my link, so you must go to drinklmnt.com forward slash autumn. Okay, the third micro habit to really ramp up your success with intermittent fasting is to use mint tea. Mint tea can actually act as a natural appetite suppressant. So if you struggle with cravings or you just get the munchy feeling after you eat dinner, mint tea can help replace that usual habit of reaching for something in the pantry and instead creating that ritual around making the mint tea and then sipping on the mint tea. Cause sometimes we just even need something to do with our hands. I have a mint plant, which grows like a weed. If you have any type of planting space, it's a great one to plant because it will grow nonstop and you'll have plenty of mint tea options. So what I do is I just boil some water and 
and then I pour it on top of the fresh mint leaves and then I just let it sit for about five minutes and that's it. Super simple. But you can also use peppermint tea bags as well, as long as there's zero sugar in it. And the mint tea doesn't break a fast. So it's a great thing to replace the dessert or the snacking items like popcorn in the evening when you are fasting. Okay, the fourth micro habit is huge, especially if you're a beginner or even not a beginner, but I know I've fallen victim to this as well, is to not watch food related shows or Instagram posts or YouTube videos during your fast. At least in the beginning, one thing that a lot of people will note when they have been using intermittent fasting for a while, and I can personally attest to this as well, is that you no longer really get hungry during the fast. Your body becomes more efficient at using fat as fuel, which can start to suppress your hunger levels, which is great. But in the beginning, as your body is shifting from using more carbohydrates or fast energy sources to using fat as fuel. That can take a few days to a couple weeks. And if you are watching things like food videos or food shows, like cooking shows, Iron Chef anyone, <laughs> This can actually start to stimulate digestive processes and make you even more hungry. So just a good rule of thumb, keep those shows to your eating window or at least wait until you've gotten more adjusted to intermittent fasting before you start watching those during your fast. Okay, the fifth micro habit is to keep learning daily. This might sound like a self plug, but it's actually something that I've recently found to be so important as a beginner. Because personally, I started vegetable gardening and I know nothing about gardening. So I felt really overwhelmed. I had no idea where to start. I had no idea what all these different terms were. So thankfully, there's YouTube University, there's great books. And so I found a really great book, started reading that, got the basic understanding. Every day I watched some type of gardening video, loving the growing veg channel if anyone's interested. And I found that even over the course of a couple weeks, my understanding has exponentially grown. I'm still a beginner, but I am so much more confident in even just understanding what to do next or, or what I need to even learn next. And obviously I have a ton of videos. I think I have like over 400 videos on my channel. So if you are new, going through those, watching those, can be a really great resource. But also for more of those step-by-step meal-by-meal strategies, I have my complete intermittent fasting bundle, which tells you exactly how to create your eating window, how long you should fast, what types of meals you should break your fast with, how much protein you need to be eating, gives you meal-by-meal -meal details, recipes, adjustments dependent on if you're plant-based or if you're omnivorous. So taking all of these different resources from more of these step-by-step -step guides, like my complete intermittent fasting bundle and the videos to help supplement your knowledge can really help you to accelerate through that learning curve and make it so that you can not make those mistakes that maybe takes everyone else years to get through and you can breeze past through those in just a matter of days or a couple of weeks. So if you guys do wanna check out the complete intermittent fasting bundle, I will have it linked down description below. But if you are new to intermittent fasting and you wanna get an idea of what this full day looks like of how you should be eating, definitely recommend you check out my what I eat in a day video with this video next. Also, if you're new to my channel and you love the science-backed information, make sure you subscribe right here. I come out with new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. All right guys, thanks so much for tuning in and I'll see you in my next video.